I've got the same hat but a different shirt and I'm ready to tackle day two of being inside of my classroom. So today's focus is going to be all on setting up specific areas within my room. This is like my whiteboard for where my calendar is gonna go to my student areas, to my area, to my kitchen area, which is really important. That is gonna be the focus of this entire video. I have actually been here for just a little bit. I've been working and rearranging my room just a tad, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit. But I think I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. I've started kind of fiddling with the desks a little bit and changing up some of the legs to get them to be even heights. And I'm happier. I'm not, it's not perfect, but I'm happier, which counts. Hey guys, I'm coming in to interrupt this video for just a second because I have some really important news to share. My bridging literacy community is going to be closing tonight. This means that today, Sunday, is going to be the very last day that you guys have to be able to join the bridging literacy community until the end of the year. So we will not be opening up until later on at the very end of the year. So this is a perfect time to join. We are unpacking anchor standards for third through sixth grade. So you're going to get a lot of really great information about understanding your standards and looking at the different differences between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. We also give learning target progression. So we scaffold instruction perfect for you and for your students. Um, and then we also provide you with a list of mentor texts that work great for that standard specifically. And we give you a lot of really wonderful, authentic, and just engaging and fun resources to go along with each of those standards. So no more having to figure out like, what am I going to do tomorrow? We give you everything you need to help so that you can have a really thoughtful, planned out lesson and feel good going in every single day. We also, inside of this community, give out monthly resources. So the two monthly resources, if you join today, the last day, uh, two monthly resources that we have for you guys is the journey through the genres activity, which I have shared on this channel before. And then we also have a fish and tree comprehensive guide, which basically gives you mentor text. Um, it goes through each of the guided questions. It gives you a uh, figurative language. It gives you vocabulary. It gives you a mentor sentence that you can use to dissect with your students and it gives you activities to engage and build collaborative discussion inside of your classroom on this read aloud. It is a great book to start at the very beginning of the year. It is the one that I'm going to be starting at the very beginning of this year. So I hope to see you guys within this community. Again, it is your last chance to be able to join until the end of the year. So I I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go back to the vlog, but I hope to see you in the community. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will be happy to answer those for you. And then I'm also going to leave some links below so that you can guys can go and check out um, a little bit more about what the community has to offer for you. All right. Hope to see you there guys. So the first thing that I want to make very obvious is that I changed my space back here. So I took the two tables that I had hiding in the corner and I decided to make it into a small group area. I've seen many other teachers in my building do the exact same thing with this space. So I figured I'd give it a shot this year, seeing as how we're lifting some of the restrictions, but we're trying to still keep it to where um, students are at their tables, but I can still pull small group. There's just a whole list of a lot of things happening. So this is gonna be my little small group area slash my desk. And then the other thing that I did is kind of switched around where the tables are just a bit. So I wanted to make it to where I could utilize this space here and still have all the desks and tables. So we have um, two different areas up in the front. We have the center table um, and I have a group of four that's here and then also another group of five here. So I have like three areas on one side, a center, and then another area here. I'm still kind of playing with it. I don't, I love the fact that the circle table is in the middle of the classroom. However, I don't necessarily love how uh, it all kind of flows and works. To be honest, a lot of this is just going to be, we got to get kids in here to see what it ends up working. So I did that. I am still going to use this space back here in the back where I have some of these stools but I just don't know how exactly I'm gonna use it just yet. Uh, I went on ahead and put up some of my curtains just so that I could have a little bit of privacy. And that's really about it. That's all I've technically done. I'll give you another just look at it all. 
And then I think the only other thing I did do is I had a file cabinet here and I moved it back to its home, which is back here behind this little nook area. Um, I've always had it here. I really like having it here and it just works out. So that's pretty much what I've done so far. Belly is full. Trent ended up bringing me some Chick-fil-A. I love their Cobb salad. I put ranch on it and buffalo sauce. Guys, it is like eating a buffalo chicken wrap, but in salad form. So I feel like it's a little bit healthier for you. Uh, so now that I have eaten and I'm not hangry anymore, I'm gonna start working on some of the areas in my room. I'm not changing a whole lot inside of this classroom. I did mention in my day one, which I'm gonna post somewhere here, but <laughs> we talked about how, for me, I've been in this classroom now for five years, and so, I have realized what really works well in this classroom and therefore I'm going to stick with that. Um, I'm not going to try to make a ton of changes. So I ha still have desks and I feel like I'm doing well with that big change of just going putting desks into pods. So I'm just going to embrace that this year. But as far as everything else and how it kind of flows and what works and what's like what areas in what space, I'm not changing it because it works for me. And yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start in the front of my classroom and then kind of work myself around and see how much I can get done today. So I know I wanted to keep this area in the front pretty much the same as what I've had in previous years. I have a date and I use the same resource that I have always used. I even have this up in my store if you wanna go and check it out. It's a very simple resource. I personally like to keep these on just magnets and I have all the cards inside of this like clear little container that I keep at the very bottom. Makes it easy for the kids to be able to change out and I'm able to also keep track of the specials lunch and all of those other different things. One of the things that I do need to do this year is I need to print out a fourth grade um, label, fifth grade label, and a sixth grade label because our specials are gonna change just slightly. So because I am in a mixed class, I am going back to multi-age, so I will have fourth, fifth, and sixth grade kiddos in my classroom. Each kiddo is gonna be going, like each grade level is gonna go to a different special. So I need to make sure that I have all of those options like listed up on the board. So I need to print those out, but I did go ahead and put up my bins that allow me to collect any notes for teachers. I also have one that has like for extras, and this is mainly because I get a lot of extra pieces of paper and sometimes I just like to throw it inside of that bin. If kids need to be able to find it, I can just send them to that specific bin to be able to go and search for it. Um, and then I have my office everything that folder that goes to the front that's going to be inside of the teacher bin and then i've ended up putting up my schedule cards as well so finally got the schedule cards i did have to clean those off because i didn't do that last year oh my stars but it's fine i don't have the schedule right now so i can't necessarily uh, plan for like or go ahead and start writing in what we're going to be doing during what specific times because i just got a little bit more information on that so that is still blank but I did go ahead and do something just a little bit different, just a little bit. And I decided to take the cards that I used, not last year, but the year before that for my jobs. I don't have a ton of jobs inside of this classroom, but I do have some in order just to build some of that responsibility. And I have kids who just like it. So I did go ahead and put magnets on the back of these. These are just basic cardstock that I've cut out myself. I labeled it with my Dymo label, like embossed printer, like I had them already done. All I did was slap my magnets on the back of them and then just stuck them up um, on my on my board. Um, I'm gonna put popsicle sticks with my student's name on it and then I can just kind of switch those out and store all of the extra down with all my other number cards for my date. So very happy with the space. I still have a little bit more to do with it, but overall, I think it's pretty much where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my attention a little bit and I'm gonna start to go back to this area and this is going to be my student area this is where we have our mailboxes um, where they get their papers any they turn in any of their work that they need to turn in and as of right now it is a hot mess with technology so i'm going to start putting the technology away and not necessarily going to go here but i'm going to put it where it needs to go inside of my classroom um, and start getting this little space a little bit more cleaned up 
As I mentioned earlier, this space is basically for my students. It's an area for them to be able to turn things in, to keep their belongings. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that I kept a lot of the essential pieces. I am adding my printer here because last year we did use the printer quite a bit, especially when we were turning in assessments. I think I'm gonna stick to doing things more online this year and just having them print some of those items. So I wanted it to be accessible for my students. So I placed my printer here, um, also filled up the paper so I I use things like lined paper, grid paper, and then I have my specific white paper that I will put into that. I added some of the picture frames that I've had and collected over the years. Some have been given to me, actually quite a few of these, are, all of these have been given to me. Um, whether one of them is a fairy tale, the other one was a puzzle that was made by um, one of my late teacher friends. And then I had a few pieces that I also stuck to the wall that were given to me by a student last year. So she is still on the MAC team. I wanted to go ahead and put that out so that she can see some of her items are still there. Um, the only other thing that I really have that I need to specifically work on is just getting their names onto their mailboxes. I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna do that as one of my final details, along with just kind of decorating and making everything just look nice. There are a couple elements that I wanna add this year just to make it a little bit different. It is different still just because my setup is not the same for especially my sixth grade students who are coming back, but I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna to wait to do some of my name stuff towards the very, very end. So now that I have this space cleaned up, this is my next spot to tackle, which is gonna be my area. I have some items that I do need to kind of add into it and move some things around. So I'm gonna go ahead and now get started with this space. So one of the things that I completely forgot about is I have a ton of books over here, they have to go, but I don't know where to put them because I am running out of space in this classroom for books. Whew, I am getting really, really tired. So for the space that I did back behind my area, there was a few things that I really knew. I knew one that I was gonna be doing small groups. I wanted to be able to have it semi-functionable for me to be, to be able to pull a group of kiddos. So I stuck to utilizing my back board space for things like my checklist, learning targets, things for when I'm meeting with students for conferences. So I had previously put in some screws into my bulletin board so that I can hang these like clear, um, like pockets essentially. So now I can put anything inside of them. So I'm gonna keep some items back there that I can just grab and be able to use in my group area. Um, and then I also placed some of the binders and things that I need to access sporadically. This can be things like my sub binder, I have my intervention binder, I keep um, a checklist for student completion work in there. So all of those binders are gonna be somewhere where I can easily access them down here at the very bottom. I did remember that I used to have my printer down in this area. I may end up still switching it back down here. I know that I said that I want it to be able for students to be able to access it, but I feel as though that space that I have back there is a little bit cluttered. So I might end up changing that, but I'm not sure. But for right now, I just have my binders um, and then I have my catch box, which I am gonna be using again this year. So that's very exciting. So this space, although it's not completely done, it is looking a little bit better and has now some of the, the items that I'm going to need throughout the year. All right. Let me show you what we have so far. Okay, so going back to my space, here is now what my classroom looks like at this point in time. So now we have the space back here in the corner, which is gonna be my teacher area. So I have my L shape with my two tables combined um, with my bulletin board starting to look a little bit better and some of the items that I use back here to teach. I also did connect a lot of the items for my microphone and for my catch box. So all of those pieces, including my Apple TV, are all connected and back there. And then the other part that I finished, I think, is gonna be my student area here, along with some of my um, important information that I need to keep up here in this spot. My front room is now looking a little bit better. 
I did end up putting a lot of the books that I took out from my back area over here. And then I kept some of my favorite um, like series up at the very front of the classroom. So the only thing that I didn't really get to do today is work on this area, which is gonna be for whole group lessons. So it's gonna have my projector, my computer. I just kind of have all of those items hanging out in this one spot. So I do need to work on that a little bit later, but that is going to allow me to use the projector up here. And then I still have to do my kitchen area back here. Overall though, I am feeling pretty good about where I am as far as my classroom. Um, I am going to be taking a few days and not gonna be coming. Obviously they don't have the building open on the weekends, but I'm also gonna be heading to see um, Michelle and some family in Texas. So I'm gonna be gone for just a bit. So I wanted to get as much done today as possible, but with having a two hour, two hour team leader meeting this morning, followed by me needing to eat lunch because I was hangry, <laughs> I think I've done pretty good for myself. Like I have gotten quite a bit done. It's just not quite what I wanted to get done today, but that is okay. So I'm really happy with where I am now. Um, the next time that I show you guys this video, we're gonna finish up the kitchen area, finish up my little small group area, show you some of the items that I put behind my small group area so that I can use for teaching. Uh, and then we'll go into like the final touches, which is gonna be the lighting that I need to put up. I'm gonna get a couple more lamps to put around my classroom just to make it feel super homey and cozy. So I hope that you guys join me for that. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, guys. It really does help to make sure that this video is doing well. It also really helps to support my channel, which is incredibly beneficial. So give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, uh, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I go live or I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back next week. Bye. I'm coming in at the very end of this video to be able to show you guys. Look at this group right here. It's looking way better. I still have this gap. And I think it's because these feet are touching. So I'm not sure how to quite fix that part of it. And I'm trying to switch desks around to see if that helps. But uh, this one still looks a little funky. But how much better, that doesn't count, but how much better are these desks looking? Super proud.